Hey guys, Len here. I talk a lot about technical analysis, and this video clip that I'm sharing is from the Maverick of Wall Street. This is from one of his daily videos today, but he releases new content every single day. I highly recommend go give him a sub, tell him I sent you, and if you haven't subscribed here, I hope that today is the day I earn your subscription. So enjoy the video. See you on the next one. The next support. Dixie, the dollar index, a daily chart. What do we see here? It is in negative momentum territory, be it in the RSI or the MACD indicator. It is below 103. Dollar bears are now in charge. But it appears that the dollar found some footing here. The dollar is now debating, waiting and seeing if any of the Fed zombies will come out and lift the dollar higher. Because if the dollar flushes down, it will be an absolute disaster, commodities-wise. They will move higher in price. And inflation will move higher too. The action we're seeing today is the dollar saying, hey, Fed zombies, anybody? Anybody wants to rescue me right now? Otherwise, I'm going down. I'm going down to perhaps all the way to 99, 0.9, let's say 100. Okay, anybody wants to rescue the dollar right now, this is your window for opportunity. And therefore, we're seeing a pullback from gold. This is a daily chart. It pulled back exactly from the resistance of Fibonacci. If I recall the number, it is, I believe, 1928. The high in gold today was almost 1929. And now we have a pullback. So we have this game of wait and see. Gold says, okay, dollar, let's see if you're going to have any rescuer coming. If you don't, I'm going to go higher again. But if you do have a rescue mission coming, I'm going to go down looking for support. And the next support is going to be all the way down at 1,842. Therefore, I'd rather go with oil, in this case, UK oil, the daily chart, because even if the dollar moves higher in a rebound by a little bit, we could see oil continuing in the rally ahead because besides the dollar, we have two other catalysts in play right now in the US dollar. Number one, we have the refilling of the SPR. Number two, we have China reopening. So even if the dollar rebounds higher, the two other catalysts, the two other tailwinds will keep a floor on oil to continue to move higher. For now, we're seeing a pattern of higher lows. We haven't seen higher highs yet. Maybe that's coming tomorrow. What I see right now, the most important achievement for oil right now is recapturing 85 for support. What about the 10-year yield? What do we have here? It is above 3.5 once again. Is it out of the woods? Is it moving higher again? Too early to say. These charts are all waiting for a catalyst. We talked about the dollar moving down waiting for a rescue operation. The 10-year is also waiting for more clarity by the Fed. You want me to go down? Do you, do you want me to go higher again? Am I even tracking the Fed anymore? Am I tracking the Fed hike expectations anymore? Or am I tracking the fundamentals of the economy? This is what the 10-year is thinking right now. If it is the latter, 10-year goes down in expectation of a recession. So at some point, you will see the 10-year moving down, yet equities reacting negatively. That will be the moment that we know for sure the market is shifting into a recession theme. TLT, a daily chart, what's going on here? What's going on is nothing. Yes, we have a pop higher above the important support of 103 and a half, but maybe it needs to go down in a retest of 103 and a half once again. And therefore, I'm out of the way I'm not playing this one way or the other. I'm waiting until I see the TLT above 109 and a half, closing above it from weekly basis. Then I'll be in. What about the VIX four hours chart? What do we see here? Immediately, the moment it closed below 20 by a lot, we're seeing folks buying puts on the SPY, buying puts on whatever stocks they own. And the VIX popped higher, got to 20. It faced some resistance and pulled back. But all in all, we see the MACD indicator, at least from a four hours perspective, moving back into positive territory, indicating positive momentum coming. We have what it appears to be a bull flag pattern. In other words, the risk versus reward says VIX popping higher, SPY pulling back. What about Apple? 30 minutes chart, what do we see here? It cracked above 134.37, it filled the gap at 135.36, and it closed above this number. But in doing so, forming a bear flag pattern. The risk versus reward once again says Apple is going to pull back. Maybe the pullback is not going to be aggressive. Maybe it pulls back to 134.37 again. But until we get earnings out of the way, I'm not expecting a big move one way or the other here. Tesla, 30 minutes chart, what do we have? We're using a line chart because the pattern is clear. It is off a reverse head and shoulder. We have a crack above an important resistance, now support, 128.62. Now in typical charting behavior, breaking above an important support or a resistance line is usually followed by a retest. I wouldn't be surprised if Tesla pulls back tomorrow in a retest of this line. But all in all, the chart is looking positive. The momentum is to the upside until earnings in this name. Last but not least, Tulips, Bitcoin, a daily chart. What do we have here? Still above the important number, 20,593.34. It actually went down in a retest to that number and it moved higher. So far, so good. The problem is, it cannot really get rid of this overbought condition in the technicals. This is going to play sooner or later. And therefore, the risk versus reward says, this move higher is out of proportions and it happened too soon, too fast. A lot of us missed it. And the risk versus reward says, you're better off waiting for a pullback. Let's see where the pullback is going to lead us. Well, 20,000. 
593.34 hold again. Will it be below this number? The likelihood is it's going to be below this number. Is it going to be 19,000? Is it going to be 18,500? If it rebounds from that point on, so far, so good. It's giving you the buying opportunity to hop back in a better price. But if it breaks 18,500, if it start going below that, then all what we're seeing is a dead cat bounce. Lastly, moving on to the conclusion of this video, what do we have on the economic calendar?